Today's story is about a scientist that ranks alongside with Sir Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. A scientist that is considered as the physicist of the 19th century due to his contributions to electromagnetism, which has paved the way to the formation of modern physics. That contribution was described by Einstein as the most profound and fruitful that physics has experienced since Newton. We mean James Clerk Maxwell, the Scottish physicist who made groundbreaking contributions to the field of electricity and magnetism. James Clerk Maxwell was born on June 13, 1831 in Edinburgh, Scotland. In 1839, and when he was only eight years old, he lost his mother. He attended Edinburgh Academy when he became 19. He proceeded to Trinity College in Cambridge University. Maxwell worked as a tutor for a time before becoming a professor of natural philosophy at Mariscal College in Aberdeen in 1856. But before the appointment announcement, his father died, leaving him with a significant emotional impact. Later in June 1859, Maxwell married to Catherine Mary Dewar. In 1860, he was appointed at King's College in London as a professor of natural philosophy. About 1862, he discovered that the propagation speed of the electromagnetic field is comparable to light speed, and in the following years, he published two major papers on electromagnetism. The most appreciated achievement of Maxwell was his electromagnetic field equations, where he published them in a form of papers between 1850 and 1870, reformulating the previous scientist's calculations into four simple equations. These papers were on Faraday's line of force, published in 1856. During the 1860s, articles about the physical lines of force were published. A dynamical theory of the electromagnetic field published in 1865. In 1873, Maxwell's equation had seen the light, which are Gauss's law of electricity, Gauss's law of magnetism, Faraday's law, Ampere's law. These equations describe the interaction between electric and magnetic fields. Electric motors and generators are example of their applications. Maxwell retired from King's College in 1865, leaving him to focus on authoring his famous book on electricity and magnetism and studying the transport properties of gases. In 1879, the symptom of illness became obvious and frequent on him. After a brief illness, he died on November 5th from the same year at the age of 48, where he was buried in a churchyard in the Scottish town of Parton. Maxwell's study on electromagnetism cemented his place among history's greatest physicists. That was the brief biography of the great mathematician, physicist, and scientist, James Clerk Maxwell. We hope that you enjoyed it. More stories will be covered, so ensure that you're subscribed and click the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you in the next one.